We just got off of the Margaritaville at Sea Islander and we are in Cozumel. By the way, Margaritaville at Sea did give us this cruise for free. So um, everything is positive and great. That's right. I am just kidding. Um, this is our real experience. No um, lies here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're doing this excursion, tacos and tequila. Mostly tequila. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, watch us as we have our first yeah. drink ever. <laughs> Uh, but the meeting point's at 9.45, so we have six minutes to get there, but it's somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find it. I like how we just got off of the Margaritaville at Sea um, Islander, and then right here, it's a Margaritaville. I didn't even realize that. Also, That's the hilarious. parrot is scuba diving somehow. Also, so on the ship, you'll see that it says where it's always five o'clock. Yeah. So Margaritaville has like a time issue because they like think that it's always five o'clock. The ship time, it, all the clocks say five constantly. <laughs> but so actually at ship time, it's like almost 10 o'clock. It's 940. Um, they got it wrong on their excursion <laughs> ticket because the actual time of the excursion is like Cozumel time. And so we're actually supposed to meet at 10.45, not 9.45. So we went up there and they were like, yeah, they got it wrong. Yeah, we literally like, there's like the excursion meeting points right here. And he's like, he's like, what did they put on your ticket? 9.45, he's like, that's not right, it's actually 11. What I really dislike about this is that we were over there, you know, taking our thumbnail photo as influencers <laughs> do. And someone yelled at us, they were like, you're late for your excursion, let's go. Someone from the pier, not the cruise line. Yes, but I was very upset because we were not late. We in fact had plenty of time to get here. And now we've come to realize that we actually have an hour and what, 15 minutes? Yeah, what do we so do? We've got to go walk around. We've got to enjoy Margaritaville the restaurant. <laughs> Can you get a breakfast margarita? Yeah, that's what they told us to do. So we're just waiting for the excursion. It literally says 945, do not use your cell phone, okay? Because we need to stay on ship time. So this is not on us. This no. ticket's wrong. I'm very cranky about it. This cruise line sucks. <laughs> I'm kidding. See, I'm telling you, our opinions are strictly <laughs> our own. Uh, no. Um, but anyway, this is tacos and tequila. It's a taco workshop. Other cruise lines have this, like Royal Caribbean has the same excursion. They call it something different. I think they call it taco workshop, but we're gonna make tacos. I can't wait. And we're gonna eat them, most importantly. I'm kind of afraid to eat the tacos that I make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a local make mine. No, um, and then there is like a tequila tasting at the end, but we're just not gonna do that part. We're gonna donate our tequila to a local orphan or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so kind like that. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are uh, feeding some tacos. Taco shells. Fish love taco shells. And so do I. It's a feeding frenzy. I think they're called tortillas, by the way. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I haven't taken my taco class yet. Yeah. I don't know. They gave me a taco shell, so now I get to throw. It's a tortilla, not a taco shell. Excuse me. It's like a frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this one I'm gonna break into chunks. This is our first step. This is lesson one in the yeah, taco class. Yeah, the fish love the tacos. Enjoy. Well, that was fun. I. That's the best part of this vacation. <laughs> We found this little swimming area here. You could swim right here, it's allowed. Like right next to the ship. Right next to the ship, it's You don't have to cool. pay anything. No, this exactly. is a free excursion in Cozumel. Like wherever the, the Cozumel sign yeah, is, right, it's right below it. Right behind it and right next to the Tequila A Go Go. Yeah, so drink your Tequila A Go Go and get on in. Yeah, and it, yeah, it actually says just like swim at your own risk. Uh, don't die. We don't have our swimsuits because, you know, we're just doing our taco yeah. making today, but... There's a submarine. You don't I, see yeah. that. It's crazy. It's probably an excursion of some type, I would Oh, think. I bet you're right. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Because there is, there's good, like, snorkeling here in Cozumel, so I bet there is a lot of, like, marine life that you could see in yeah. maybe, like, a glass bottom submarine. Is that a thing? Do they do that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Made that up. But yeah, one day I want to swim here. Okay, we got our tour guide. We're off. We're on our way to make some tacos. There's only four of us here, so it's pretty private. It's kind of cool. Okay, we took a two minute taxi ride and we're here at Barracito. This was an abandoned ice factory. And now they do a bunch of excursions here, like food classes, um, even like a wrestling class, he said. Yeah. But 
What else? What other food? Like he uh, said, there's like a Disney excursion here that's kind of cocoa. Yeah, based. like a cocoa theme. Thing. Yeah. This is where we're gonna do our taco class, and he's also gonna talk about tequila. Um, we're gonna learn. We're gonna about learn. Tequila, <laughs> but we're not <laughs> gonna drink. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there they are. Here we go. So we just learned a lot about tequila, and I actually find it very educational. Like I learned about like what regions are able to produce tequila. Oh yeah, these pictures like. That's the plant. That's the blue agave. That's how they make it. This is the whole process of how they make the tequila. Um, but now we're moving on to the next part of the tour. But it was, it was cool. It was, it, was, it was. I didn't know anything about no, that. So that was I'm cool. enjoying the information. So 50 years ago, this used to be a freezer for the ice factory that was here. So yeah, you can see the can insulation see. there. But yeah, it was abandoned, and they turned it into a tour area here yeah. but this is this is what i love to see right here taco workshop this is a sign for me okay we're in the taco workshop area and we're actually going to make guac so we have an avocado here and a lime and salt oh, and chips and salt. most importantly chips step one to get the skin off do you think that i'm an avocado expert <laughs> okay you got the skin I off i cleared that pretty good yeah now for the lime he said to stab it with the mm -hmm. fork and then just turn the lime. With the spoon, it just came right out. Mm -hmm. Like it was like super easy. Look at all that. I'm an expert. I know. I like. This the is why I didn't know we were gonna do guac and tacos. No. But I think like they're getting the tacos ready back there. It's so amazing. Okay, we matched it up. Bam, bam. Added cilantro. <laughs> and added salt. And now salt. Let's see. Got a little pinch. Okay, we got our first taco. This is a taco from the Pacific Coast. Thank you. Do you remember what it's called? A taquito. Well, it's called a taco dorado. Or a taquito. <laughs> but this is like a taco with chicken inside and it's fried. And lettuce on top with sour cream and the cojita cheese. Mm. He said to, to eat um, two of them, like at once. Yes. So that the toppings don't work. Oh wait, do you want to get one of these salsas? Should I get one? Which yeah. one? I don't know. The red I'm going to try without the salsa okay. first. Yeah. It looks good. It smells it good. Very good. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the medium. I think that's a good choice. But the strategy of two at once is good. Yeah, I like learning the strategy. I think we can apply this to churros at Disney too. <laughs> <laughs> it's very crunchy, it's good. It is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crunchier than like a normal taquito we mm -hmm. have in America, I would say. Like the frozen ones are usually like soggy, mm -hmm. but this is actually crunchy. Mm, good. Yeah. I like that salsa. It is. There's a little kick, but I just did a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. So we're making. What, what's the taco called? This is Play Doh. I don't know. <laughs> it's not Play Doh. <laughs> I don't actually it's know. It's Konichiwa. 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 No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's Konita Tacos. It's, based, it's from Tacos from the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, and we get to make our own tortillas. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I, did I already mess up? Yeah, you have to press it down first. Just slowly do it. Okay, see, mine is so much better already than yeah, yours. Yeah, it really is. I feel like mine's all broken up. Okay, I finished flattening my corn tortilla. I think Brian's is really good. I think yeah. he might actually secretly be like a professional yeah. tortilla maker. Mine, on the other hand, needs a little extra work. Looks like a snowflake. It does look like a snowflake. That's okay. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. Here. Up top? Yes. Nice. <laughs> so the tortillas are done. This is a cochinita taco from the Yucatan Peninsula. That one's carried, so I'm pretty sure. Okay, so habanero, salsa, and, and red onion. Red onion I love, so I'm going to do a lot of that. But then I'm just going to do a little of the habanero salsa because I'm a scared cat. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do a little bit. How's the tortilla? The tortilla feels so amazing. Like you can tell that that's like that's a fresh tortilla. Yeah. And it's hot. Hot it is. hot. Looks good. It's it's very hot. The meat is so good. Oh really? Oh my god. We need to eat this. Okay, so this is taco. Do you know how to pronounce it? Tacos guiasado. 
tacos de guisado. Thank you. We're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. But it's like the origin of street tacos. Is, he said it's like from central <laughs> Mexico. Huge. So we got double tortilla, beans, rice, some vegetables. Oh, the meat. Looks like some pepper and onion in there too. Oh, oh, bacon. Yes. Oh, this looks amazing. This, this looks is, so good. This is huge. Look at this. I haven't eaten mine yet, but it was like the size of my head. Yeah. This looks so good. Oh my and god. And it smells so good. This is so good. huge. Yeah, he said they, they normally do double tortilla. That's how they god, traditionally do it. He said to eat some of the meat on top first because that it's so sense. full. But it looks amazing. Mm. This looks the really good. It's really like tender too. Mm -hmm. We also got some hibiscus water. That's really good. Yeah. Very fruity. If I saw a taco like this in America, I'd be like, oh, this is way too stuffed. This is this is incorrect. Yeah. But they gave it to us here, so it, it, it's correct. There's no such thing as a way too stuffed taco. And this is after you've... I've eaten a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the taxi back to the cruise port. Also, I'm really glad it was just four of us. That was really cool. It was a really nice, like, intimate experience. It's like a private way. excursion. Yeah. yeah. All the tacos were good. I actually feel like, you know, obviously we don't drink, and we also don't yeah. eat avocado. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was fun to make it, though. It was really fun to make it, and yeah. I also feel like it was really fun to learn all about tequila. Like, I, I even though yeah, we don't, even though drink, we don't it, drink it, it yeah. was like a great educational experience. For sure. Um, I would, if you drink, I would totally recommend this excursion a hundred percent but if you don't like us i probably wouldn't recommend it because the excursion was called tacos and tequila and it really is 50 percent tacos and 50 percent tequila for sure but so, what was great is you know this was provided to us by margarita bill so we were able to experience the 50 percent that we yeah. wanted and it was totally cool yeah we knew like obviously we knew going in that it was probably going to be 50 percent tequila but we were like well we're not paying for it so this is a good opportunity to do the taco workshop so. and i'm glad we did me too it's and cool. I like this location and it seems like there's going to be lots of excursions that come to this location. Yeah. So like, I think it's a cool place to come. And our tour guide was really good too. He was great. Very knowledgeable and very personable. Yeah. We're back on the ship. We accidentally got some ice cream and demolished it. We got some Coke, Mexican Coke. Just kidding. Not really. Diet. <laughs> okay, but over there is the Mexican place and I have an idea. Let's get a taco and see how it compares to a real Mexican taco that we just had. I'm so not hungry because we no. just ate three tacos and ice cream, I'm but we do it for research. I'm not hungry at all, but let's go get a taco. Yes. Oh, what a beauty. A Mexican cutie. Here's our taco bar. Let's select a base. Taco bowl. Select the protein, the toppings. When you said Mexican cutie, were you talking about me? Yes, because okay. we're in Mexico. Okay. So we got our chicken tacos here with some salsa and cilantro. There's also some other things here like sour cream, lettuce. What do you think? Do you want anything else? The only thing I could possibly want is the sour cream. It's kind of nice. They also have just like watermelon cut up over here. That's yeah. nice. These are really filled. They, yeah. they fill it for you there. Just like the ones that we had in authentic Super Mexico. Super filled in Mexico. Now I'm an American, so I like Americanized, trashier versions of authentic food of like foreign food correct so i think this might be better than what we <laughs> <laughs> but i'll give a real i don't think it'll be better i don't know we'll see i'll give a real review though yeah i think you prefer a flour tortilla over a corn tortilla and you probably prefer chicken over the pork and beef that we had and that's why you think that this will be better the the mexican place the mexican cutie and cheeseburger in paradise are right next to the buffet mm -hmm. i think those places are better than the actual buffet i agree like the honestly to me the buffet is kind of weak it is but like those two places and the main dining room are really good and the pizza is really good too it's just hard to come too. by yeah but like when you're in here and like the buffet options are not the greatest they're just meh yeah um i like the flour tortilla i know you do what we had was really good in terms of a corn tortilla that was yeah. like the best one but the I've corn ever had. is the, that's the authentic way they yeah said. yeah but again we're americans but yeah i'm a we enjoy trash. american yeah so honestly this is good and it's not saying that's not because like what we had was bad it was those were really good they were really good it's just i like this i don't know 
This is our first time having the Mexican cutie place too. Only an expert knows how to get the sour cream all <laughs> over because it was kind of a lopsided delivery of the sour cream, oh, but I- Not my fault. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> but I expertly spread it across the whole taco because yep. I am a taco connoisseur. Now, something on the excursion that he said is that people who truly eat tacos know that the taco yes. remains level like this and you swivel your head yes. to meet the taco rather than some foods, you know, you would... He's, yeah, he said never like tilt the taco, only tilt your head. And there's some sort of uh, Mexican saying that's like, we know how many tacos you eat based on how you hold your taco. Or like he was like, we can tell like how much you like tacos depending on how you eat it or something like that. It was like a saying. Or do you, th do you, do you think, I, do you agree with me with my assessment? I like flour tortillas. This is not better than what we had. Okay. But I do like flour tortillas better. And I really like the pico. None of what we had had pico on it. Mm. And like that's like onion and um, tomato. And then I think there's like lime on it. It really brings it to the next level. But this is still good, right? Of course. It's yeah. just, it's, it's not very hot. Yeah. But it's good. We came up to the top deck. We're gonna do some cornhole. We gotta pick out our color. So I think this is a practice one because like, if you have to stand here for that. That's like nothing. That's nothing. So here's, here's, I, I came up with rules, okay? Yeah. You get one throw. If you get it in on your first try, you get a point. If not, you don't get, you only get one per obstacle, okay? What if I get four chances? Four chances? Okay, four chances. But you can only get one, one point. One point. Okay, yeah. We just okay. made up these rules. Don't listen to us. By the way, I call this bags. At work, we have a cornhole, bags, whatever. And like, everyone calls it cornhole. And I'm like, oh, this is such a weird name. Let's just call it bags and be civilized. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Show us how it's done. I like off the backboard. Wait, are we going for the, we're going for the top one, right? Well, should we do one of each? Okay, yeah, one and of each. And then you can get two points. Okay. Oh, nice, okay. Two points. Okay, so you were able to do it in three bags. Yeah. My goal is to do it in just two. I don't think I will. I don't even think I'll do it in four. Oh. Nice. Did that go in? Yeah. Ah. I'm winning. So you have two points, I have one point. Oh, the hammock. I figured it out. This is the, the X for the hammock. So let's do the hammock, because since we're here. So you're cheating and going to number seven? What if you would do number two? Okay, fine, number two. Should I go? Yeah. So again, there's two opportunities here. Yeah. Nice! I was aiming for the other one. Okay, so loser goes first. So that's why Brian is up because right now the score is four to two with me being in the lead. I don't know how you're winning. I mean, I'm really good at cornhole. Okay. This one is three though, okay? So we have to, we have four chances to get all three. Yeah. so I feel like that's part of it. I know, but the bags are heavier than the wind. Yeah. What if I knock you in? Oh, that would be great. Oh my God. Okay, one point. One point. So five. Yeah, this one's really cool. We have to get it in the coconut. I do like that. Okay, well, did we pick that I one? I think so. Oh my god, it keeps happening. Aim to the right. 
the wind is actually affecting it. Like, it's so windy that it's affecting the bags. You might be able to tell from my hair that it's very windy. Okay, the wind, the wind stopped, just stopped as soon as you threw it. That's not fair. I actually have powers. But not good enough I powers to make me get it in. I swear, when I threw mine, like it started going in the hole and then it was like... Nyeh. Yeah. This is the last one. Carrie has already won. It doesn't even matter. She has enough points that she has already won. Oh my god. It didn't god. go in though. The way that you throw it, you're just, yours are not really affected by the wind. It's not is, fair. I think I throw it like kind of, like I don't go up and down. I go more straight. Yeah, I guess so. That's a real strategy. Oh, okay. Six to two. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, what's your prize for winning? I get to go look at the activity list for the day, and I pick out what we do tonight. Or for this afternoon. Whatever. I get to pick. Now, I'm coming to expect a morning gust, yeah. so let's check. Now we've grown accustomed to it. Now if I don't have it, I'll be mad. I will cry. Oh my <gasps> god. Oh my god, not only did he make one, he made it with the towel or the blanket that we brought. Oh my god. This is our Harry Potter towel that we brought. Is he a shrimp? Oh my god, it's freaky. Oh, it's a frog. It's a frog? It's a chocolate frog from Harry Potter. Oh my god. That that blanket is actually, it's the carpet from when you see the Cursed Child play in Broadway. Wow. Okay, but yeah, it's the chocolate frog. That's amazing. That's incredible. And where did these come from? Did, was this in the room? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was from boarding day. They oh, handed yeah. it to us. Yeah. Wow, that's is amazing. He, why is he just like having a good time? He's magical. And it's like... It's ma like pixie dust. Yeah. Wow. That's my favorite that I've ever seen. Yeah, I, we've never had them make well, something from a blanket that we've that brought. We brought. And we always bring a blanket. And they've never, usually they're like, what do I do with this thing? Yeah. This is the best thing I've ever seen done with a blanket. They're coming through. It's been 43 minutes after All Aboard. Yeah, we were supposed to leave at 3.30. Yeah. These people are, just, they're 45 minutes late. So and now it's raining, by the way, too. Which at least is putting a pep in a step of these people. Yeah, that's before, true. No one was running before, they were just walking. I know, it's crazy. Well, now they're running, now that they're getting wet. The kids are, but the parents aren't. Yeah. I feel like there might be more people yet to come because, like, it wasn't really posted anywhere. No, so because there isn't an app, no. you only have the paper cruise compass to go off of and they didn't deliver that until after we went to bed last night we had no idea what time all aboard was until this morning when we read it and the, when we read it it was kind of hidden on the paper it was like on the activity list which lists i don't know 50 items <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah, like it wasn't on the 50? front page normally on embroil it's like the front page all aboard is this time it was hidden on the like tiny on the back page so <laughs> while i love to like make fun of these people for not being on board at the right time i kind of get it because because number one, there's a lot of first-time cruisers, and number two, it was not advertised very well. Yeah, but um, also like when we got off the ship, usually there's like signs that say all aboard is this time. There is no signs. Or when they swipe your card, they're like, okay, be sure to be back but at three thirty. They didn't say anything like that. But they've blown the horns. Looks like maybe these are the last people that are gonna get on. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Security's still over there waiting yeah. for people. Okay, I just saw people running in this the pier area, which is only for people that are on a cruise. Or working in the cruise. Area. Yeah, or working because you have to <gasps> show you have to show your room key in order to get in this area here. Oh, oh it's two guys. Run. Y'all better run. They're the guards are like, you better run. Because the lines me. the lines are down if you look. Oh my god. They they took the lines off the the pier. Oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted. This is what this is this is what we live for. <laughs> These people are an hour late, by the way. That's late. That's pretty late. I feel like that's usually the grace period is an hour. Yeah. So we left Cosmel. I'm about to fall over because the weather got crazy. So we we pulled away. 
the wind got crazy the rain got crazy the wind is like whipping up the the sea the sea water and it's like it's like spray it was like spraying me on the, out on the balcony because like the like the wind just picks up the seawater and causes a huge spray somebody lost their hat i saw really? someone's hat go flying yeah it's it's crazy so um we noticed like some water in the room and i was like yeah. what is this why like we never went in a pool why would it be wet um but there's a little yeah. drop right there and then inside our closet well, we noticed this we noticed that it was like wet around here but so in the bottom part of the closet right here like you can see it's very wet and i was wet, housing like, like way back there Ow, God. <laughs> <laughs> um it's all wet and it's like dripping down from the ceiling and my theory about this so we are on the top level of staterooms the room the the level above us is the pool deck and my theory is that because we are so tilted outside that the pool is probably spilling over and coming into our room yeah we looked up the deck map and we are right underneath the we're the not pool deck. right underneath the pool but the pool deck and so like so the if, pool would yeah. be pull, pooling over yeah like and coming tilting. into our room like if we tilted and then like all the water came yeah and we didn't notice this until we started tilting yeah um, so so it's not sewage, so that's good. It's just pool water. Because that was original fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, the pool's green, so what's worse? Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> probably drinking algae if we drink that. <laughs> well, I'm thirsty, so. I have been licking it. Yeah. Um, so you may remember that I won cornhole, and I was supposed to pick what we were going to do. Yeah. And originally I had picked out Name That Tune Trivia, mm -hmm. but instead I decided to watch Peer Runners and take a shower. And in the shower, I had to like kick the water into the drain yeah. like this because like we're so tilted and like the drains like on this side and like all the water is pooling over here. So I was like doing this. Um, but yeah, I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> This is like in Titanic when they do this. Oh my god, on the carpet too! This is insane. This is the most tilt we've ever experienced. And it's not rocky. Yeah, I think that's what I'm most surprised about. Like a cruise ship rocks. We're used to that. Yeah. Like in Alaska, we had rocking. It is not rocking. It's just tilting it is just sideways. It's completely tilted. And I'm surprised normal captains would adjust their course for the wind. Like the wind is very clearly coming yeah. from the side. He doesn't seem to be adjusting. Well, I wonder if like we have to go a certain way. Probably. But we put, um, we were putting things on the table. Like I put like my eye drops in like the sunscreen and it just rolls. Even on the carpet, which like, yeah. there's much more friction on the carpet. It's crazy. And then like, if you look if you like get level to our railing on the balcony, normally like you would like line up with the horizon, but now it's just like the ocean. Like it's so much lower. Like it's just like we're like looking at the ocean instead of like the horizon. It's crazy. When we first started cruising, I used Dramamine and like ginger and I use that very frequently. But since we've been cruising a lot more, this is our 25th cruise. I don't really use it anymore, but today I took some some ginger because yeah. I'm feeling it. Literally, if I just stop leaning forward, I'm like leaning backwards. It's it's crazy. I think this is the most tilt we've ever seen since Alaska. It yeah. might even be more tilting than Alaska, yeah. which is crazy. It's a lot. Definitely the worst motion motion we've felt in a in a long time. Long time, maybe. Well, Alaska was really bad, but this is second place, I would say. And I mean. Obviously, the weather is a factor, but I do think because it's an older ship, it doesn't mm -hmm. have the stabilizers. I mean, it probably has stabilizers, maybe, but, like, when we were in Alaska, that ship was literally double the size of this one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy out there, but... It's dinner time. I guess it's dinner time. Uh, you may notice that we have some list to the port, but this is absolutely normal because the winds are gusting from the starboard side, which is our right side with uh, amazing 62 knots per hour. Whoa, that's high. So, that's the wind? Uh, it's yeah. absolutely normal. It's nothing to be worried about. The vessel is really, really stable and is not moving. Thank you. 
My God. Oh, so he's gaslighting us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been on 25 cruises. This doesn't seem normal. Although, 62... Uh, 62 not, not wind. wind. Yeah, that's, like, that's, that's not normal. What's crazy is, like, normally the captain, like, when you leave port, will make an announcement and be like, here's what the weather's going to be. We're on our way back to Florida. He didn't yeah. do any of that. But, um... There must I be mean, some mass hysteria going I know. on. <laughs> yeah, because he, there was an announcement in the room, and like in room announcements are kind of rare. Yeah. Normally they like only do the hallway. Yeah. Um, but the waves, the waves are crazy right now. I kind of want to go out there and risk it all just so we can see the waves out there. Let's go out there for a second. I'm not going out there. <laughs> <laughs> this is our current view. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, I was about to make a joke, but. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. This is the captain speaking. Captain. I would like to assure you that the vessel is performing extremely well and it's nothing to worry about. Gaslighting. I would like to inform you that I have accelerated already the islander and will be out of the storm early tomorrow morning. Please watch your step while you are going around the vessel and please avoid the open decks due to the strong winds. Thank you. That wasn't very reassuring because no. I thought maybe like tonight we'd be out of it, but no, early tomorrow morning. Oh my god. Well, what I was gonna do, I was gonna go like, here's what, what we're seeing, but then like reality is like nightmare. We tried to go to dinner. It <sighs> I sat, we sat down at the table, they handed me the menu, and then I was like, I had to like read, and I was like, nope, I gotta go. We like ran out of there. I like ran out and like, there's things flooding, like the, on the deck. The whole ship is wet. Yeah, the whole ship is sinking. Um, <laughs> no, uh, but on deck three, where like the open deck is, because like we're tilting so much, like the waves were crashing up, and like, I think like water was like getting onto the deck, and then like it was like coming inside through like the doorways. Um, they were doing a lot of like mopping up out there. Lots of buckets on the ground for dripping water yeah. on deck two so it's like deck three is getting flooded and then like deck yeah. two is like where it's dripping down which i think is the same as us where like deck nine the pool deck is getting flooded so deck eight is getting drippings so the, the pool i think is still dripping a little bit over here but... so before it was purely like tilted to one side but now it's doing the back and forth thing which i think is what's getting me sick because yeah. I was kind of okay when it was just tilted. Like, I kind of had a headache, but my stomach was fine. But now that it's rocking, tummy hurts. I think this is, like, Alaska level right now. Maybe more. Yeah, it might be more. This might be the worst we've ever had. I don't know. There's a low-pressure system. We're on a smaller ship is not good. We are moving a lot. Laying down helps. I really wanted to eat at the main dining room tonight. Unfortunately, there's no room service. If there was room service, we'd have it by now. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that like in an hour we feel better and then we can go to the dining room again. I feel worse. When we came back upstairs, I was like, oh, we totally could have eaten. But now that I'm sitting up here, no, we couldn't have. Yeah. I just got up to get my socks a little while ago. It didn't feel good getting up. Hopefully we it does get better and we can get out of the room and go do some stuff because they're doing the quest. And it, but they have a funny name for it. It's called the quest for my lost shaker of salt. Amazing. And it's, it's basically crazy quest on Royal, but it's... So I wanted to see that. This um, is totally the right crowd. For oh that. my god, this crowd. They would do very well. Yeah, this is the right crowd. Um, there's also a magician. Oh, I want to see that. And then there's some other things going on too. The After the magician is the late night comedian? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff tonight, so I'm hoping we can make it. I'll be interested, like, if the magician can still do his or her tricks. Yeah. With this tiltage of the ship. He's gonna try to juggle chainsaws and then. Mm, accidentally cut off his arm. Yeah. 
And then they won't be mop mopping up water on deck three. Mm. They'll be mopping up blood. That's right. Okay, we're, we stood up. And when you stand up, it's a lot worse. I literally, this I had been doing so well because I, I like took a little nap. I woke up, I was just fine. And then I stood up and I'm like, ooh, I am not doing well. So we thought we were going to go to the main dining room. But I think we're actually going to head up to the buffet and try to get like a personal pizza. Look at this thing, by the way. This thing is like going like this. Okay, well, that's you doing it. But I know, yes. but like, <laughs> but just an example, just to speed it up. Yeah. Okay, let's go get that pizza. Let's go get that pizza. Okay, that was not fun, but we got our pizza. Now I feel sick again. <sighs> Just in time to eat. Yeah. <laughs> At least the pizza is really good. We turn on a movie, and there just so happens to be a movie about these people getting shipwrecked in the ocean. <laughs> oh, they're setting up a flare. Maybe we'll do that soon. Yeah, really. Yeah, this is a really nice escape from our reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This isn't even a movie, this is just a live, live feed, footage. live feed from the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> we finished our pizza. Uh, I still feel seasick. So we will yeah. be remaining right here for the rest of the night. I'm a little disappointed because like, I wanted to go back to the main dining room because it was so tasty and like, I wanted I to know. see all the shows, but it's there's, just not gonna work out. There's even Pete the Parrot meet and greet that we're missing out I on. I desperately wanted to meet Pete the Parrot again. Yeah, there's a lot we're missing out on tonight, but when we were walking around, um, d it's even just getting the pizza, I it made me so sick. Literally just laying here, I'm like not feeling super well. Yeah. So, um, I wish there was a way to show it because like obviously it doesn't show up on camera, no. but it's like, it it's it's a lot, trust it's me. It's rocking and I don't feel good. Yeah, before it, before when we left Cosmo, it was like we we're tilting one, to one side, but now we're going all over the place. I mean, you know, this is our 25th cruise. We've only ever talked about this on one other cruise. So, you know, we're not- We're not talked about it, but like we've only, ex we've only had seasickness, like make us stay in the room one other time. Yeah. And that was in Alaska. Anywho. We're on Margaritaville at sea, right? Today, in Cosmo, we had an excursion. That excursion was called Tacos and Tequila. What do those things have in common? Margaritas, tequila. Those are both alcoholic drinks. Oh. We don't drink alcohol, do we? No. That leads us to tonight's dinner time question. This is from Adam Saldana5462. And the question is, why don't y'all drink alcohol? And I'm going to give my short version <laughs> of the answer before Brian goes into a nice little spiel. But right now, I don't feel super good. I feel a little seasick. And I've heard that hangovers feel a little bit like this, and I don't want to <laughs> feel like that. So that's a good reason not to drink. Yeah, it's crazy. This question is like 21 thumbs up and like 18 replies, pretty yeah. crazy. It is pretty crazy. Um, but the thing is, is we haven't answered this. Like we got this question a while ago, but we haven't answered this because we're just like, the answer is not satisfying. It, it's really, we're gonna give you the answer and it's not gonna be satisfying, spoiler alert. It's just not exciting. It's not exciting and it's not satisfying for the people that are wondering or asking so it's like well why why would we even answer it because it's not a satisfying answer anyway because the short answer is like not our thing we don't want to we don't want to not our thing yep and like i'm sorry but like that's what it is um but i think what it is is because it's such an unusual thing but it's getting more and more popular that people don't drink that's true i feel like <laughs> yeah. the younger generations like gen z is yeah. becoming much more common but it's such an uncommon thing right now that people want i feel like people want a like like a crazy answer like they want us to say like we were one day, one day we were drunk driving a school bus full of nuns and we crashed into a lake and everybody died and ever since then we decided we aren't gonna drink anymore that or like it's we're like crazy religious or like i don't know it's it there's there's it's not one of those things it's literally well you know what i like to joke about with people is like 
the dare program growing up it just worked <laughs> really really well on me <laughs> like, yeah i just think like i don't feel a need to it's mm -hmm. i i tend to ask people who ask me this like the reverse of like why do you drink because i think you the if someone didn't smoke cigarettes now you'd be like that's normal but maybe yeah. 50 years ago that wouldn't have been normal and i think that that's kind of this, a similar situation yeah. because you know people you know that we work with or other people that we see in real life or whatever real life <laughs> in reality when people are like talking to us like especially like coworkers, really more i agree it's like it's like you you really have to like explain yourself and it's people look at like so like why don't you drink and it's like they really want you to explain yourself it's like so weird to us because it's never been part of our lives drinking yeah. and it is like to me it is like smoking cigarettes it's like you would never go to somebody and be like why don't you smoke cigarettes and like nobody would say that to anybody really because but like that's like what i feel like like it's like because I don't like I don't have like an ant like you know what I mean yeah it's there's like, no real answer for it and it's just so weird I feel like w because you would never like question somebody and interrogate them on why don't they smoke cigarettes but that's what it feels like when people interrogate us about drinking it's like I, I can't well and then the other thing is I can't give you a good enough answer that you're going to be happy with you know what I'm surprised about we have the same reasoning for not drinking alcohol What's really funny is when we first met, we met on a dating app. Um, I, we, we went on our first date, it was at a Starbucks and we like discussed this. And when I came home and I told my parents and like my friends, I texted them, I was like, oh my gosh, he doesn't drink either. They were all like, he's lying to you. There's <laughs> no way that he doesn't also drink because all of my family and my friends, they also drink. So like, mm -hmm. I'm even like the weird one out in my family and my friends groups for not drinking. And so it was kind of very refreshing to meet someone who had the same views on alcohol as me. And mm -hmm. it turns out that you were not lying like they yeah. originally thought. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like a four year that's a long time. Lie that I've That's been a doing. Yeah. Good commitment to the bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I've never drank, and I don't envision myself ever drinking in my life. Um, I just, it's not. A, it's literally just not a part of our lives. It's not a part of our universe. During COVID, we forgot that it was a thing when we were in lockdown for a year. I forgot that it was a thing. Like it's just. It was so funny because when we ended up like going back into the office for work. And people started to talk about it again. I was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot that alcohol was even a thing because it just doesn't we, we don't need it. And it's just I like, really, it's like when we like look at a menu and there's alcohol, it's like to me, it's like maybe it's like someone who's been a vegetarian their entire life mm. and they're looking at like a meat menu. It's like they're just like, oh, skip. It's just like it's not real to them. Like, that's how it feels for me. Like, I just don't even. It's not like, oh, I want to, I want this margarita that's something. It's like, it's like, it doesn't exist to me. It's not real. And I'm sorry there's not a better answer, but it's just, it's just not our thing. That's, that's it. I mean, I don't know. For sure. And that's why yeah. we are not having the margaritas on Margaritaville. Although they did have a nice um, alcohol-free margarita that we had. Um, yeah. And I enjoyed the tacos and tequila excursion and I enjoyed learning about sort of the mm -hmm. history of yeah, tequila, it was cool, yeah. the way that it's made, but I didn't need to drink it. And, and that's that. Yeah. So, so hopefully that satisfies it's your It's not going to, that's not going to, see, this is why we didn't answer it because it's not going to satisfy anybody. But at but least but your curiosity on the subject can be, um, you know, squashed. You do you no longer have to ask the question. It's been answered. Um, <laughs> hopefully, you can respect that decision of us not drinking. I don't know what else to say. But that's it. But okay, so we finally answered that one. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, I feel hungover from my <laughs> seasickness. <laughs> Even though you've never had a hangover. No. <laughs> but I, I imagine this is what it's like. <laughs> I have watched the movie The Hangover, so this this seems like what it's all about. Yeah. We found then, the most amazing thing to watch on TV. 
We found the college bowling championships, Ugh. and it's amazing. Who knew? I learned that there's someone else called the Gamecocks that aren't South Carolinians. Yeah. It's the Jacksonville, Jacksonville State, State Gamecocks. And I'm sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> when state is part of the name, it should be one of the 50 states. It shouldn't be a city. You shouldn't be allowed to say city, state, college. No, yeah. it should be state, state, college. That's ridiculous. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. It's For a day at sea. Day. Yeah, day at sea tomorrow. The captain said the waves will be better, or the wind and the weather will be better tomorrow. So we'll see you there. We hope that it's true.